Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we have got one system from the user Blue Boy to check out, so a massive thank you to them for sending in this simulation. But without further ado, we're just going to hop straight into it as always, so let's see what they have prepared for us. So it's on the workshop, let's go all the way down here. So here it is. Okay, cool. Right, so come on game, you're going to load up? Right, here we go. Okay, so it's the Zaz Star System Reborn. Okay, the Zaz System is a system of a species that live on the planet Zelf. So, oh, I'm saying that right. Uh, Zelf is has the inhabitants of the Zelians. Oh god, I'm gonna really butcher these. Oh god. <laughs> and let me tell you, over the time they have advanced, they're prepared for the unimaginable. As you go through the system, you will see the planet, the plenty of planets of life. This is because there are billions of Zelians. And overpopulation went brr. Uh, they have been known to survive in sub zero temperatures and scorching temperatures and enjoy being able to explore their, cluster or their current solar system and hope to migrate to more in the future. Okay, right. Cool. We like a bit of backstory, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we have got here. So, the star itself, as we can see here, let's check it out. I think we're on the new setting, aren't we? Uh, enhanced or realistic. Let's use realistic. So, there it is. So there's the star itself. So, as we can see, loving that effect. Um, but yeah, here it is. So Red Dwarf, obviously not very, very bright. Okay, so first of the planets. So it looks like, oh, this one's losing material. What has happened here? Okay, oh, wow. Oh, that material trail, look at that. That's new. That's definitely new. I've not, the material trails didn't used to look like that. That looks awesome. That's definitely new. Material trails did not used to look like that. When you get close to it, they change. I'm guessing that's to do with this surely maybe object visibility enhanced realistic no okay so it's just the way they are now the trails that's pretty cool but anyways first planet we can see very very hot uninhabitable 290 degrees looks quite like a mars sort of look like a mars mercury sort of hybrid between the two so it's the reddish color with the temperatures of mercury roughly there okay uh next planet out so this one is called Spot 123934, so we can see more of a bluish phasey haze on it. Um, you can't really see to the surface so easy, but there, there it is underneath. So it's got some cool clouds and uh, stuff there, cool. Okie dokie. Alright, next up we have got uh, Slagest over here. This one's looking pretty cool. So it's minus 110 degrees here, very cold. It's got population, we can see city lights on it. Very, very nice load of city lights as well. So there's Slagest. Also has a moon. Herbsis over here. Hope I'm saying that right. Herbsis. That's looking a bit glitchy. What's going on there? <laughs> That's very strange. Right, okay, so there it is. All right, next up we have got Zlef itself. It's also got a moon. So this is the, uh, I think this is a central planet where the species in this system come from. So here it is. It's also got some uh, storm clouds on it, which look pretty cool. That's what it looks like underneath. I'm guessing stat-wise we've probably got some cool... Um, we got some cool stuff there as well. Cool. Nice, nice. One thing I've noticed as well is this simulation has stopped the music of the game. That's a little interesting. But yeah, here it is. So it's left spacecraft over here. Well, I think I can hear it in the background, actually. I don't know. The music's been weird. So there it is. So New Horizons. Space probe there. And it also had a moon over here. Cool. So there it is. So nice small little moon. It's very glitchy with that, isn't it? What's going on there? Yeah, that's very strange. Okay, there it is. Okay, next up we have got Disk over here. Oh, this is a moon, actually. Pla oh, no, planet orbiting. Okay, never mind. So here it is. So a little bit frozen. Obviously got a bit of a uh, bit of uh, ocean on it, though. Then we have Emerald over here. So a nice green shade. Oh, yeah. So that's looking spectacular as well. Kind of reminds me of a space engine green planet, actually. So that looks nice. Next up we got this object over here. So Marth Marthys. Over here, so a nice uh, blue and white gas giant. Also got some moons as well. So we'll just have a quick look at the moons. So there they all are there. It's a fairly basic looking. Then we have Frons over here. So that's looking uh, pretty cool. Okie dokie. So there's that one. Also got some uh, objects orbiting in it as well. So you just get a brief look at those guys here. So there they are. Okay. All right, next up we have got uh, this one. So or Orky, Orsi, over here. So it's got a Titan-like atmosphere under it. If we look underneath, there's your surface. Okay, cool. 
Right, zooming out to the next object, we have ice one two three three four over here. That's um pretty frozen looking there. So I guess it's pretty cold as well. Minus two hundred and seventy three degrees, very very cold. Ring particle. So there must be some sort of asteroid belt um here. Uh, let's go back to enhanced. Yes, yeah, so there's an asteroid belt. Okay, cool. All right, and then um Endraz over here. So a very very pinky. Looking world here. Obviously, very, very cold still. We're at a fair distance from the star now. It's only 0.6 AU. Okay, but it's obviously due to the star being a red dwarf, not very bright. So we may be close to it, but yeah, still just not got the temperature here. And then we have this gas giant here, black and white one. Also got some more objects around it. This one actually had a little set of a. Uh, it has a moon of a uh, outpost monitor, I should say. I was going to say a moon, but it's got yeah, a little thing orbed in it there. Nice. So there's the outpost monitor. So it's also got an atmosphere watcher as well. Pretty cool. And also got a uh, moon as well. Nice. Okay, so next up we have got uh, Cayman over here. Oh, this one has a lot of moons. Right, so here it is. So you can see um, blue and white. Nice shade. Very, very basic, but nice looking. Then also you got a bunch of random spawn moons, I'm guessing. I don't think we need to really look at them all, but there's just a brief look in the bottom right. Yeah, they're all just fairly uh, basic looking. Okay. And, and lastly... We have uh, this one over here, Escape Plan. Interesting. So, Gas Giant. It's also got some uh, moons around it. That moon is very, very close. Um, we have Zep C over here. And then uh, Zep D, which was that one we just uh, flew past. So, let's uh, get a proper view of it. So, here it is. Okay, cool. So, that's the last of the uh, objects in this system. So, what we'll do now is we'll get, the, obviously, the full lineup. So there's our full system. So we've got um, all of the gas giants. Oh, where are we going? Oi! Guess just delete those. Uh, that's better. Delete the path calls. So the star. Onto the planets down here. Very, very nice range of planets. I did quite like this pink one, I have to say. That one did look quite cool. I do like this one as well. I thought that was a nice sort of shade of the deep purple. So yeah, there's a full line of all of the planets. Looking good. Okay, cool. So there we are, guys. So that does it for today's system sent by Blue Boy. So this was the, what was the name? It was the Zaz Star System Reborn. So yeah, let us know what you think down below in the comments of the system, guys. And yeah, also, if you'd like to send in your own simulations for this series, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And um, yeah, you can send your um, systems in there as well in our dedicated upload channel. But with that all said and done, guys, yeah, make sure you um, leave a like on this video. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys. Subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 30, oh no, 23,000 subscribers, I should say. And yeah, massive thank you for watching as always. And yeah, with that all said and done, guys, like I said, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.